Alright guys, what's up? I'm sorry I'm late. I gotta make this video quick because I literally have to go to the freaking Falcons and Buccaneers game like immediately after I make this video. But guys, bro, the Falcons versus the Seahawks. Yo, man, it kind of is weird. It seems like we're always a team that play against people with injuries. And it's like we don't get credit for any win that we have. Same thing that happened with the Cowboys. Oh, Sean Lee got hurt. Oh, Z got suspended. It's like all this other stuff, man. Like we can't never have a break, bro. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to certain people. But this week, man, it was it was a good game. I'm happy that the offense was able to get 34 points. And it felt like they was cool and then they wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Julio Jones, I don't know what's going on with him. I know he hurt a little bit, but he need to get a lot better. By the way, for the people that's new to this channel, I'm a Falcons fan, so I, I mainly talk about what the Falcons are doing. And then I get the other team a lot of credit. Even in the game, as you see, EA Sports has the Seahawks at a 90 and the Falcons at an 83 which makes no sense at all considering we was in the Super Bowl last year. But I, I, I don't know what the heck they're doing with that. But um, anyway, and we did beat them in the playoffs last year too. I, I, don't, I don't know what the heck they, <laughs> I don't know what the heck he's doing, but that's, that's besides the point. Anyway, Matt Ryan went 19 for 27, 195 yards, two touchdowns. I think it's like the first game in a long time where Matt Ryan didn't have 250 yards. The dude had like the longest streak in the NFL. And uh, as y'all know, he's, he's the quickest quarterback to reach 40,000. Oh, no, what, the 80,000? Uh, I think it was 40,000. Yeah, 40,000. I don't think it's 80,000. Passing yards in the NFL history. Um, Yo, the defense, like I said, I don't know what y'all be talking about. The, the Fal My Falcons defense was not the problem. The problem in this game was the freaking special teams. That man, what was it? Tyler Lockett or Parr Richardson, whoever the heck it was. The, the dude was getting like 40 yards every kick return every single time we kicked it off to him. Think about it. We scored 30 work. 34. What the heck? Why the heck did ESPN say the game was 31 to 31 in the final? Anyway, the game was 34 to 31. But that man, Tyler, uh, or Paul Richardson, was just steady getting kick returns, kick returns, kick returns, kick returns, kick returns. Return. Like the whole freaking time, bro. Um, and then it just put a defense in a position where we had to step up. And the defense low key did, and they didn't at the same time. Um, you can only do so much if you already have a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of yards on you. And um, I think the defense did a great job. True Font, yo, this, yo, finally, yo, this man True Font stepped up. The dude was all the way over, all the way across the field. The dude got a pick. The dude was getting breakups. Um, he did everything he wanted to do out there, bro. That was a good look for True Font out there, man. It's about time he coming back looking like he in full effect, like he was never injured, bro. Um, that that's pretty sick, man. Russell Wilson, he was twenty six for forty two, two hundred fifty eight yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Like I just said, the interception came from True Font, but Russell Wilson. Was the leading rusher in the whole game, bro. This man had more rushing yards than Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman had 20 carries for 43 yards and one touchdown. Russell Wilson had seven carries for 86 yards and one touchdown. Uh, like I said, Julio Jones, he had 71 yards, but he didn't really do too much. In my opinion, it seemed like Sanu did more than him. But Julio Jones, I think he had more yards, yeah. Uh, I guess because Sanu had a touchdown. I wish my boy um Austin Hooper did more this game. But that's crazy to know he had two receptions for negative one yards. That kind of sucks. But Austin Hooper is probably my favorite dude on the offense. Um, but this game, what was that dude name on that? Uh, that running back, that that rookie. I, th I think his name is Davis or something. Let me see. What's that dude name? Um, uh, hold on real quick, y'all. Who's it? Oh yeah, they had J D McKissick too. But who the heck was that dude's name? Um, uh, yeah, Miles Davis. I think his name Miles Davis. That dude was freaking going off. Even though he only had 18 yards rushing, it seemed like he was doing so much more. I don't know what it was. It's just like he, he needed they needed him to pick up the first down. Um, J, J.D. McKissick, he didn't really do too much. Like I said, they say we used to have him on the team. But, like, Russell Wilson was the main one that was doing something on offense. We were trying to sack the dude. The dude was scrambling all crazy, like, going wild. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty insane looking at it like that, man. But we came out to play, man, so. Um, it was a good game. We usually win the close games, except for like I believe last year against the Seahawks, when they didn't call the penalty or whatever, like in the regular season, on Richard Sherman. But this game, Richard Sherman wasn't there. Cam Chancellor wasn't there, and like I said, we were really not gonna get no credit for what was going on. But I just really appreciate the offense for finally scoring points, and uh, Sanu stepped up like crazy. Uh, Claiborne with a nice. I think he had the touchdown. It was just good stuff, man. It was good stuff. My boy Robert Alford, he had uh the most tackles in this game. Um, and it, it's just cool, man. It's just cool. He had three pass deflections, and um, I just I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, kick return. Yo, Andre Roberts. I don't I don't know what it is. I don't like that man, bro. As far as he cool, I I don't like him as a person. I'm not saying I don't like him as a person, 
But he, we need a better kick returner, man. I don't care if the dude had 105 uh, kick return yards this game. I'm not with it, man. The dude, I don't know. It just seemed like we could be having a lot better field position with somebody else, man. Like I said, I ain't, I I ain't going to lie. I don't even know who the heck we had last year, but I know it was Andre Roberts. I would rather bring back Weems or something. At least Weems went to the Pro Bowl. Devin Hester was the best to do it. And y'all saw Devin Hester last year in the playoffs was the only one that did something against us when we played against the Seahawks. So, um, but it's nothing too bad in this game, bro. It was cool to see everybody play, bro. Come on, Ishmael getting a sack. Grady Jarrett getting a sack. Freaking find me later, bro. Tech McKinley getting a sack. And um, on they Paul on I mean, on they side, while Paul Richardson he was getting sacks too. This dude was going crazy over there. Uh, he only got one, but he still had a whole bunch of good pass rushes to come in there, bro. But it came down to the wire. Bill Walsh or Blair Walsh, my bad, not Bill Walsh. I'm tripping. A Blair Walsh, yo, that guy. I feel sorry for him, bro. I really do, man. He did it for the Vikings and he did it for the Seahawks. And the funny thing is, they were saying. <laughs> Yo, he did better for the Seahawks when he didn't even play for him because the Vikings was playing against the Seahawks that year. He missed that field goal for them to go to the playoffs or something like that. Uh, but now he's playing for him, and he did the same thing for him. So that kind of sucks, man. But anyway, I'm glad to get a W. Like I said, I had to get this one short. Maybe next time I'll do it in more detail. But it really wasn't nothing too crazy. We need a new kit returner. we got to be better on special teams. And, um... Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to the Seahawks. But Russell Wilson, that dude is elusive as a mother figure, bro. Like, just watching him play was amazing, even though it kind of sucked because I'm a Falcons fan. But that dude was moving around like crazy. Y'all got a good rookie in that dude, Davis. Uh, Paul Richardson is, is insane, bro. Tyler Lockett is good. Um, Jimmy Graham, obviously, is a stud. Even though he played for the Saints, that dude is, is that dude is the GOAT, man. I already knew he was going to have problems with him coming to the game. It's cool that the Seahawks finally utilizing him a little bit more. Um, but I'm glad we got a W, man. It, it was going to be hard if they had Cam and Richard Sherman, but I still think we would have pulled it out. Like I said, we undefeated against the Seahawks in the, uh, in the playoffs as far as when Russell Wilson has been there. Um, so they fans probably low-key want to destroy us right about now. But I respect y'all. Y'all just like us, except for y'all got a Super Bowl now. You know what I'm saying? Over the years, y'all didn't get enough respect just like us. But now both of our teams are starting to get respect. So I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man.